Now, Amy Schumer believes that anyone who isn't in favor of Hillary Clinton is simply uninformed. During an interview for the BBC, the actress was asked about her opinion on Hillary Clinton, and here is what she said. If you say the name Hillary Clinton, you know, in America, yeah. you get incredible responses. There'll be those who love her, and there'll be those with visceral hatred on well, their faces. Well, that's what I'm saying with the not being informed, because those people aren't informed. You know, they... If you go, why don't you like Hillary? They'll go, she lied about her emails. What else is she going to lie about? People get one fact, and that's what they latch on to about a candidate. They go, but, th you know, she lied about that. I'm like, well, Donald Trump has a fake college. Donald Trump doesn't pay his workers. He won't release his, tax, his taxes. There's never been a, a nominee who's ever not released their taxes. So, um, and... I don't think you can have a, I haven't had a conversation with anyone who doesn't like Hillary where they've had anything meaningful to say. I'm going to have to stop you there. Look, what she said about Donald Trump is true. Okay. Yeah. He doesn't pay his workers. He imported models into work for his company without visas and didn't pay them. And he stiffed, he, he stiffed the freedom girls. Okay. You remember the USA Freedom Girls. He didn't pay them either. He doesn't pay his staffers. Um, and not only that, but he's a, he's a grifter. He's a con artist. He's a demagogue. I mean, you name it. He's a loser, a terrible businessman, right? All that stuff is true. You want to point that out? That's great. I will do so as well. And I, in fact, I have, right? But then to go on and say, well, look, if you don't like Hillary Clinton, well, you're uninformed. Well, that is not true, and that is not true. In fact, there are actually plenty of reasons to dislike Hillary Clinton. Let me go through some of them. Let's start with the millions of dollars she's taken from corporations and the banks. Okay. Um, the, the What about that time that she helped UBS shield tax dodgers from an IRS investigation? How about giving access to donors for the Clinton Foundation at the State Department? How about selling weapons to foundation donors like Saudi Arabia, who actually have a terrible human rights record, a terrible women's rights record? What about all those? How about assuring that she will not fight for single-payer health care? She actually said, and I quote, that will never, ever happen. Ever happen. How about saying that she'll overturn Citizens United, but is actually using a super PAC to fund her campaign? What about all that stuff? How about a promotion of fracking throughout the entire world while she was at the State Department? It seems like the more people, at least on the left, know about Hillary Clinton, the less that they like her. Now, that doesn't mean I'm supporting Trump, right? No, it turns out that you can dislike one candidate more than the other. That doesn't, if you dislike one candidate, that doesn't mean you like the other one. No, you can dislike both of them. You can dislike Hillary Clinton and also revile Donald Trump. You can do that. You're allowed to do that. <laughs> okay. And look, this is what bothers me about certain Hillary Clinton supporters, right? When we go out and we point out the actual issues with this candidate, right? There, we, we do that. Um, and they come back and they say things like, well, you're uninformed. No, no, we actually know about this. This is why we're upset. This is why we don't like this candidate. Okay. Um, look, here's the other thing, right? Maybe she's responding to the mountains and mountains of bullshit flying around from her, uh, flying around her from the right. And if she's addressing those people, then okay, fair enough. Then I will drop my criticism, right? There's a lot of people there that are believing in bullshit about Hillary Clinton. And a lot of that does come from the right wing. Okay, and some of that gets picked up by even some on the left wing. But there's also a lot of legitimate reasons not to like Hillary Clinton. And I've went for some of that. Okay. See, and here's who I'm really addressing. The independents and progressives who actually don't believe in the bullshit stories, but actually dislike her simply because she's not as progressive as we want her to be. And the fact that she's held a lot of questionable positions and have changed those positions to seemingly fit the audience that she's talking to. That's an issue here. It's not that the vast majority of critics on the left are uninformed, in my opinion. 
It's because many of us are more informed than everyone else is. And what we see, we don't like. Is she still better than Donald Trump? Absolutely. In my opinion, yes. But that's also not a high bar. That's actually a very low bar. Okay? That's a very low bar. Comparing Clinton to Trump. Of course Clinton's going to be better than Trump. A cat is better than Trump. Would make a better president than Trump. Okay? Not a high bar. So look, my opinion on Amy Schumer uh, and her comments is this. She's wrong. She's not listening to actual progressives that have actual good reasons to be uncomfortable with electing someone like Hillary Clinton, who's very hawkish on foreign policy, is very close to the banks and the corporations, and is overall as establishment as establishment can be. Now, in Schumer's case, she is related to Chuck Schumer, okay? Uh, Chuck Schumer is also as establishment as establishment could be. So, maybe that's the thing, okay? But look, when it comes to progressives that are uncomfortable with Hillary Clinton, you can feel that way and also oppose Trump and be, on it and be informed. Now, unfortunately, she doesn't seem to understand that fact. And for that, I kind of feel bad for her, right? Because in saying this to about a lot of progressives who get uh, caught up in the sweeping generalization, she's really doing herself and other Clinton supporters a huge disservice. Remember, you want to reach out to Bernie Sanders supporters. You want to reach out to progressives that, yes, felt burned during the primary. You want to reach out and, and, and you want those people to be on your side. And coming out and saying things like this, you're just uninformed if you don't. If you're uncomfortable about Hillary, if you don't like her, you're uninformed. No, that does you a disservice. Especially since you count on progressives for their votes. And look, to be fair, Clinton is running more of a Bernie Sanders style campaign. She is starting to reach out and that's great, right? She's, she's even running on a progressive platform crafted by Bernie Sanders. Now, it's not perfect. It's not what we wanted. And hell, it might even be ignored. I understand all of that. Okay. Clinton is not bound by any means on running on that platform. And that doesn't undo, uh, that doesn't undo everything questionable about what she's done, even if she does run on that platform. And if pointing out the questionable things that she's done in her record makes you uninformed, then I guess you could call me and millions of other people who voted for Bernie Sanders, uninformed.